Ulysses Jackson. We're going to discuss today domestic violence. What I thought domestic violence was, was the actual act of hitting someone. And, you know, you and your partner, you get in an argument and you hit, boom, or the arguing, and then the cops come. That was the extent of what I thought domestic violence was. As a certified anger management, domestic violence specialist, mental health counselor, I went to all of these studying to figure out what it meant so I could get away from the stigma of what I thought it was or even imagine what it was. So when we look at domestic violence, we have to look at it as a power and control issue. It's a situation in which another person is controlling or, or initiating his, his or her power over another person. For example, I live with you, you make more money than me, or we make the same, or I make none. And every week you get paid, or every month you get paid, I'm coming to you telling you, listen, I'm gonna need some of that bread. You withdraw, and you really don't wanna discuss it with anyone. That's a form of domestic violence. When someone is financially taking advantage of you. You have elderly domestic violence. Well, you have an elderly person that has the love of her, kids, her children, or her grandchildren, or her loved ones, and they're using, well, grandma, aunt, aunt, uncle, auntie, I'm not going to come around if you don't do this, and I don't got no gas money, and it just becomes an issue. These are forms of abuse and domestic violence that we usually let it go. You have sexual abuse. Your partner, you know, wants to um, have, you know, get with you intimately, and you really don't want to, or you're not in the mood, and they threaten you with, well, I'll leave, and I'll go see somebody else, or I'll be back. Those are all forms of power and control. This is definitely an informational, um, uh, what, I don't want to call this a podcast, but it's just an informational session where this is not counseling. You know, I go in depth with my clients about that. Here, we just give you some information because you may be the victim of domestic violence or you may be the perpetrator of domestic violence and not even know it. You might, not, you might not even know it that like when I say to my girlfriend, hey, you got $20? And she say no. And I say talk to the hand and we'll throw them out the door. That's power and control. I'm trying to run and control an issue. So we have to understand what domestic violence is and what it isn't. And the first step to that is you have to look into what is your belief of what domestic violence was. And we think you hit somebody. No, domestic violence is going on that vacation and y'all at a casino and you don't hit your limit of four or five thousand dollars. You're telling them we need to do more. We need, you know, cash in on this or pawn your ring. And you're like, no, this is going into financial abuse. And, and right then and there on the spot, domestic violence is happening. Power and control. Again, get out of the stigma of thinking that domestic violence it was just the act of hitting. It's different forms of abuse. You know? Um like, like if me and my partner had a phone bill that was tied together and I asked her to do something and she said no. And I said, I'm not paying the phone bill. That would be considered that power and control. See, make the connection between power and control and domestic violence. And there are specialists who specializes in anger management and domestic violence, which I happen to have those specializations that can really go in depth to identify if you're a victim or perpetrator of domestic violence, the actual act of someone hitting you, we already know what that is. That's violence, which can lead to trauma, which leads to death, which leads to a lot of other stuff. Don't be with someone and think that no one else loves you. Or, yeah, it's, it's somebody else, man. Just like you found that person, you could find someone else, man. So the Ulysses Jackson, identify what domestic violence is and what domestic violence isn't. You know, and like I said, this is the informational um, thing that I'm talking about. By all means, this is not counseling. So get in touch in your local area for domestic violence specialists, or anger management specialists, so you can identify what it is and what it isn't. Dr. Ulysses Jackson's.